What's up, Jeevers? Welcome to Games Time. I'm James, and guess what time it is? It's my birthday, dickheads. As if it was gonna be something else. But yes, it's my birthday! Whoa, oh, shit! Whoop you! Only 32 this year, but still, I'm loving it. Spreading the love, spreading the joy. Like I said, I'm bringing all the love and uh, positivity this year from 2020. I'm just feeling this year, and I'm giving it all back to you guys and everything, because I'm really happy. I've never been this happy before, and I'm fucking loving it. But yes, I lie. This is a fresh movie review. Ha! <laughs> You gotta get sick of it, like I said, but I guess, like I have said, this is a, another fresh movie review, and this is for one of my personal favourites of this year, uh, even though it's only February, I fucking know, um, but it's of the Peanut Butter Falcon, uh, rated PG-13 for my American audience, uh, rated M for my Australian audience, it uh, only goes for an hour and 37 minutes, directed, by, directed and written by Tyler Nielsen and Michael Schwartz. I don't know what they've done. Um, uh, director, what have they done? Okay, they've mostly done shorts. They're mostly uh, actors. Um, and producers. D didn't want that. Um, <clears throat> where is it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Fair enough, fair enough. They just... Producers mostly. This is their first technically big thing that they've done. Um, starring Zach Gotten Sagan, uh, Dakota Johnson, Bruce Dern, Shia LaBeouf, Thomas Hayden Church, John Bernthal. Uh, oh, Yellow Wolf! I didn't realize he was mad. Sorry, Yellow Wolf. And Mick Foley and. Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah, they actually show up. <laughs> and like Jake the Snake Roberts' career, he's not acting at all. He's just doing it himself. He's like, rubbing his belly. Yeah. It's like, ew. But okay, cool, cool, cool. But yes, this is a personal favourite movie of mine. I absolutely loved it. As soon as I saw the trailer, as soon as I saw... Um, anything of it, it just feels like, it's a feel-good movie, it's an, I think it's an indie title, in a way, um, it's of a Down syndrome, a boy with Down syndrome, living in a, um, an aged care facility, I don't know, like, the logic of that doesn't strike me as why, um, and so, he gets it in his head, he wants to be a wrestler, and no one's listening to him, because, just because he's, um, uh, got Down Syndrome, everyone keeps calling, like, even the nurses, like, calling him retard, mentally handicapped, and all that stuff, and the way you see people treat him is just like, you know what, fuck off, he maybe has Down Syndrome, but he is a person, like, every other person, they can find their way most of the time, and, like, every indie film, it feels very Juno, uh, very, um, Whippet, um, and, uh, like, a, a, a find-yourself movie. And it's lovely, it's beautiful, I fucking love it. Like, the trailer says it's like a, a, a Mark Twain-type movie. Uh, like, Huck Finn, which kind of goes on the nose because they're in Louisiana and they actually make a raft. It's like, okay. And this is my one of my personal favourites from Shia LaBeouf. Um, he's had an up and down career and I'm looking forward to his new movie or by Doco Honey Boy, which will be coming soon. And you better believe I'll be fucking talking about that. <laughs> but the last one I saw him in, um, technically it was Transformers Dark on the Moon, but I won't talk about that. But the last movie that I actually loved him in, like actually his acting style, probably was... Holes, and that was back in 2003. But yeah, um, back to the movie. Uh, Zach Goten Sagan, I, I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, for a, a kid or a dude with Down syndrome, he plays this movie well, it, it's awesome. Uh, everyone gives him time to do what he needs to do, as people with handicaps uh, or mental illness or whatever take time in what they need to do, and it shows. Um, they're not being frustrated, they're just giving him time to act, and it, it's, it's beautiful to see. And, 
Dakota Johnson plays Eleanor, who is his carer in a way, uh, which it's, yeah, she kind of looks after him the most. And the way she treats him compared to the way Shia LaBeouf characters, character treats him, you could tell the difference. She's treating him like, oh, like, you can do stuff, but I'm going to help you, while Shia's like, let him figure it out for himself. Like, if he needs help, he will ask, but at the moment, he's doing it, he's giving it a go. You don't need to badger him all the fucking time. And I like that. That's what I've done for a few friends of mine. It's like, hey, just, you know, leave him alone. They'll figure it out. It's the learning curve. Everyone treats Zach like a baby, but he's not a baby. He's a very tough individual. Um, and the, the <laughs> just the way he goes about it, is, uh, it's like, they're living life in a way like they should be. Yeah, in the Louisiana swamps. It's, um... The relationship between... You could tell the relationship with Zach and Tyler. Child above is really beautiful. And I'm glad this won um, an Academy Award. I can't remember what for. Um, what did it win for? Academy Award? Academy Award? Academy Award? It won for something. I think Zach actually won it. But yes. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I would have given it a higher uh, if it um, probably went a little bit longer, had a bit more wrestlers in it just to poke fun. Like, uh, it's all well and nice to have Mick Foley in it and Jake the Snake, but Jake doesn't. Jake the Snake doesn't do good things on the best of his days back of the day, and this one was very just like, yeah, I'm getting a paycheck. So it would have been nice to probably see like Stone Cold Steve Austin or Kevin Owens. M maybe the Hulk, but Hulk Hogan is very controversial right now, mostly because of his past. And technically he's the only one really alive from back in the day. Maybe Ric Flair or something like that. Just some well-known high-profile wrestlers so they can, everyone can geek out about it. Um, the way the movie ends, I would have loved it if they went the probably tragic side or the even enlightened side they're like i'm not going to spoil it but there's like two other ways it could have gone to make you cry, uh, sad cry or happy cry and this was in the feel good middle and I, it worked for it um i'm hoping to see zach in another movie soon um according to his imdb profile he's got something called best summer ever um, oh, okay, oh, it's an interesting car, sorry, I'm just geeking out about reading about it, and, um, this is a personal favourite of mine of Dakota Johnson's, I'm not a humongous fan of her, mostly because of the Fifty Shades series, but, um, I didn't mind her in, um, How To Be Single, and, um, the, fi the five year engagement. But apart from that, uh, well, we're in the social network. But apart from that, she hasn't really wowed me. This one wowed me mostly because it's an indie film. And indie films usually do that. Um, <clears throat> if you want to laugh, if you want to feel good, go watch this. It's at, for my Australian viewers, it's at the state. Uh, for uh, my American viewers, I honestly don't know where it could be. It could be anywhere. Like, you guys are fucking lucky. You get it everywhere. But yes. Um, as I said, it's my birthday today. I wish everyone the best of positivity and vibes to you guys. I know it's supposed to be coming to me, but I'm spreading the love this year to everyone else. I do that every birthday. Treat yourself. You know you want to. Um, and yes, I, like I said, I give this an 8.5 out of 10. Would have gotten higher for more if they were more tragic or happier and, and all the bit more wrestlers and everything. And um, I, I love this movie. Um, if you've seen this movie, what do you think of it? Uh, do you want another a team up between Zach and Shia LaBeouf, being that they worked well together in this movie? And um, yes, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and happy birthday to me! Thank you very much. More to come. Uh, and yes, thank you very much, guys.